What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you some more essential tweaks to have on iOS 14, 13 and 12. These tweaks are actually pretty useful and I call them essential because everybody should definitely have them on their device. They can be found completely for free. All of the tweaks in this video will be free and available on Cydia, on the default repos like Packix and BigBose and so on. So I'm going to start with the first one which is called Power Module. Now Power Module looks like this once installed and you can see here that I have a module which I can use in order to respring, UI cache, reboot, safe mode, power down and even lock the screen. And it's available here with the other widgets like the brightness and the Wi-Fi and you know music and so on. You can add it, you can make it bigger, smaller, move it around but yeah once you tap on it you get a lot of options which you normally need when you are jailbroken. For example if you install an application like Reprovision or iCleaner or iSecureOS and it doesn't show on the screen. The application has installed successfully from Cydia but there is no icon on the screen. You can just drag down or drag up depending on your device, pressing here and use UI cache and once you use UI cache it's going to show the applications that you have installed because it's going to refresh the caches for the springboard and all the new icons will appear. So it's definitely a good one power module. Once you install it it's going to create a new settings panel here where you can set up a lot of things for example the module size 2x2 or 1x1 or the reboot action which could be reboot or LD restart. LD restart doesn't completely reboot the device only the user space and you can get confirmations before something happens for example if I enable the respring confirmation it's going to actually ask me if I want to respring before doing it so as you can see it does ask so that you don't respring by accident and you can turn those on once you install it you're going to be able to find it here on the control center and it will be here in the more controls list and you're going to have to add it so I'm going to remove it and as you can see we have it in there we press plus and now it's in there you can also move it up down and so on and it will change in here so definitely an interesting one. It's completely free so check it out. The next one that I'm going to present is actually called quit all and you can see that it does create a settings panel here as well and this one allows you to quit all the applications you have open when you open the uh, launch pad in here with all the apps you have open. You can see there is now a clear button that if I press everything will be shut down so as you can see there is no more any application in here. So that's exactly what it does. As the name implies it quits all the applications that are open without having to swipe on each application every every time you want to close it. It closes absolutely everything no matter if you have 20 apps open or if you only have one. So pretty nice, a quick button in there, looks okay, looks native, so it's pretty good. Now we're moving on to something even more interesting and that is Reprovision Reborn. Now many of you know what Reprovision is. It's basically a signing service directly on your jailbroken device and you can sign and cover, you can sign IPA files with your own account and you can keep on re-signing them every time directly from your device. This was a very great project but unfortunately Unfortunately, it was abandoned a couple of months ago. The developer of it said that they don't want to update it anymore because they don't have time anymore, they don't care anymore. So the project stopped working and I think that as of iOS 14 it was completely dead. However, somebody has actually taken the project and updated it a couple of weeks ago and they renamed it as Reprovision Reborn. So if you search in Cydia, this is what is actually called Reprovision Reborn. And as you can see here on changes, it says that it adds support for iOS 14 and it supports the ARM 64e devices which means that it should work perfectly fine on the iPhone 12, iPhone 11, iPhone XS Max, XR and even the older devices and it does seem to work on iOS 14.4.1, iOS 14.4 you know with check rain. It also seems to work with the Uncover on 14.3 and lower and if you open it you can keep on resigning things. So you can see I have Uncover already signing here. It tells me that it's going to expire in 7 days but I can press sign in there and it will start resigning the Uncover application. You also get in there the application that are expiring soon and I think you also get notifications when something is about to expire so that you can resign them and prevent them from expiring. This is actually quite great and if you want an alternative to the alt store that doesn't require a computer then this one is actually pretty good. It works perfectly fine and as you can see success. We got the uncover signed and it should work right away so I'm gonna open it and there you go. Uncover opens and it tells me that it needs to be updated but I'm gonna press ok and as you can see it works. So yes the reprovision reborn actually works. Definitely check it out if you were a fan of the reprovision in the past. It now works on iOS 14 and is one of the essential tweaks. And the last essential tweak I would like to talk about in this video is iCleaner. Now I know many of you know it but there are beginners in the community who do not know about it. So this is actually a completely free tweak available in Big Boss which allows you to keep your device clean. It analyzes and cleans temporary files or unused dependencies or you know battery usage data, OTA software and applications and Safari data and so on. 
one it does a lot of cleaning and if you press analyze in here it's going to start analyzing what you have to be deleted and do keep in mind that this doesn't delete any private data or photos or video or anything just those pesky temporary files that occupy a lot of space on your device so they need to be deleted anyways and this is actually a very good tool not like the fake cleaners from the app store and so on this actually does perform proper cleaning because this application has root access and it's on sandbox which means that it does have access to everything on the device so you can see that there is a huge list in here of files that should be deleted on this device like a pretty huge list check it out it doesn't end I'm gonna scroll all the way to the end but it's pretty damn big and you have to actually remove those because they are completely useless they occupy a lot of space on your device with no reason so as you can see a lot of stuff to be deleted so I'm gonna press clean now and it will clean all those files making the device run better and of course freeing some space because not all the tweaks are actually optimized some of them may leave a lot of residue on the device some of them may actually download things that are big enough to occupy space and so on the cleaning process completed and that's basically it it may show an ad after that because this application is ad supported but that's basically all so aside from that you have the tweaks that i talked about in my previous video like for example new term which is a terminal on the device extremely useful if you missed that video check it out but yeah it's better to have a terminal installed on your device in case your jailbreak breaks and then of course we have crashed which I talked about in my previous video and this one actually shows you everything that crashes but I talked about these in my previous video at the end I would also like to mention iSecureOS which is my own tweak or my own application which is some sort of anti-malware or antivirus for iOS it checks everything you have vulnerable on your device performs a scan for malware and once it finds malware it looks like this as you can see from here I have a malware from the main repo and it detects it and you can remove it and so on it gives you information about all the vulnerabilities on your device you can change the root passcode from here if you have the default one so definitely a good idea to check it out if you want to it's a tweak created to secure your ios device but yeah definitely check those out power module quit all and of course reprovision reborn and eye cleaner definitely essential tweaks everybody should have thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out